And back we go and into war with Bohemia we shall enter. Let us raise all here. And we'll use half of our troops. And stand the rest down. Should be fine. Are you fully raised now? So we'll take this army. Send it over there. We'll disband this army. So we still earn money. While also going to war. We're fully gathered. And that's just some high quality army there for you. Except that apparently we... What? We forgot our trebuchets and everything. Let's bring those in. <laughs> They're kind of vital for the whole uh, attempt. That's not really what we wanted. <laughs> what an oversight. There we go. That's better. We have a decent commander? Oh, we have ourselves. That's fair. Let's hope we don't die or get captured or something. We will deliver a speech about unity to the crowd. 50-50, it goes good. right. We are stronger and we stand together. Where are the peasants? There. And they have 1,200. What just happened? Are oh, they are gathering as well? I'd like to raise my troops, thank you. What is that? There we go. I do I have two? Should keep an eye on things up here. Bosla is very nicely defended. I think Bohemia is not really coming anytime soon. We are still waiting for these guys to gather fully. Let's give them a commander. Guy here. I feel like they always rally their troops in their capital. They don't make use of those rally points. So they have a very, very, very long way to go. I like the gathering system. That's that's pretty good. Alright, let's disband these guys. Don't really need them right now. Ah, look, they have arrived, finally. Paying homage. What is this? My vassal Duke Gundolf has arrived outside my castle with a grand procession of well-dressed diplomats, knights and exotic entertainers. The fellowship resembles a parade led by Galdulf himself. It's a booming voice, Galdulf announces that he is here to pay homage and that he comes bearing gifts of gold. Such generosity is hard to find in a subject. In Galdolf's loyalty is truly something to treasure. Is it? Let's see. What are you? You're an astute intellectual. Oh.
Now. Keep the gold. Your friendship is enough. We will be generous. Let's see if we can't meet on the field of battle with these good men of Bohemia. They bring in reinforcements to bear. Let us hope we will be fine. Despite our recklessness. We have found victory. Uh. Oh. <laughs> there were more peasants. I didn't notice. Are there even more peasants? Somewhere? No, I don't think so. I think those are all the peasants that we have. Goodness me. Alright. And now we just siege our way south. Come on, finish your rally. 10 days. I really like the rally system. It makes for interesting gameplay. I like it. It's much better than having to carry all your troops left and right across the world constantly. Definitely an improvement over how it was. New lifestyle perk. Yes, hello. Hard rule, dread gain, siege progress against revolts, faction military power threshold for vassals, plus 20. That's just... That's... That is good. <laughs> that is really, really good. So we have finally joined battle with the enemy. We'll expand this army again. Also our demands. Locals are pacified. I don't want to call in an ally. Could create this duchy up here. Let us. And we will grant it to this man. Duchy of... This. The US. My dear friend and ally. Who can we run? So, do we get something good? 50, 10, 10. 50. Take it. Take it. Oh, let me take everything. All right, let's Oh, our splendor level has increased. We are significant. Very good. We are pregnant once more. While leading troops, my True warrior empress. No. Our heir does not become craven or lazy. I'd rather have him be arbitrary. We are overwhelmed by stress. We have a stress level of one. Decreasing our fertility. Which is, by the way, proven. If you're very stressed, then you are unlikely to bear fruit. I like that it tells you when you're gonna arrive here. It's all much more readable. It's still a mess of information, but I like it. I like that you're immediately told if you go here, you're going to be over the supply limit. And it doesn't mean anymore that you're just gonna die from it. 
like to enforce my demands, thank you. So we get 140 fame. I can disband all my troops again. And we can... Ransom this lady. And we can usurp the Duchy of Thuringia, which indeed and immediately we shall do. A realm will lose a vassal once someone dies. Let's give the Loda book to someone. Do we have a dynastic or a kin or something? There is a dynastic or something. And the dynastic will get everything. The whole duchy. Enjoy my dynastic. Let's negotiate this alliance here. You really don't like us, eh, Miss Jülich? Not like council position would help that. Uh, our spouse is not available because he is a count. I think it's time to increase. Nah, I'd rather they inherit outside the realm. We'll we'll just get it back. It's not like it's much of a hassle for us. A nephew of ours was slain. Let's go spread French culture again. You go do that so we earn more money, please. Or do we need control anywhere? Well, yeah, but not us. Our vassals can deal with that. You, however... Let's convert it to him. We'll, we'll just be, you know, that. How do we get ahead of faith? Does not have a head of faith. No one holds the position. Okay. But who appoints these? Look at all them victories. Right. You guys are next on the list of things to take. I'll move this point somewhere over here. And we'll just raise the whole army. I will split off a whole bunch of levies. My domain. My domain. Ones from my domain are probably most costly. Oh, they're the only ones I actually pay, aren't they? I'll just kick those out and keep the others. So my domain goes up. So if we. Let's try. So we currently. No, we pay for everyone. <laughs> Let's select this army and disband them. And we'll take these and this will be how we fight this war. Yes, join your troops. Do battle. Oh no, our son was stillborn. 
a tragical moment. So, let's read this. Deals 41% damage due to being counted. Deals 69% damage due to being counted. Deals 10% damage. Like, is... I wonder. The, the background is still greenish. Does that mean... I don't know what it means. Like, it feels like, do they deal 10% of the damage they might deal, or do they deal 10% damage less? I think it's actually 10% damage less. It's not actually deals just 10% damage of what they might deal. You know what, we're going for the wrong holding anyway here. They got all the advantages in the world. Fight in favorable terrain, fighting in favorable. Just have a whole army of pike here. They don't have horses, but... Let's start the siege work. We might be running here. So we catch them again. Ah. One of our knights was slain. He was a duke as well. I like that you can tell by the little icon in the bottom. If they're silver, they're a duke. If they are bronze, then they're a count. I wonder if we should create vassal kingdoms. Oh, Frank has moved up here. They're really weak right now. My goodness, that means war for us. 13,000, that's nothing compared to what they usually have. Anyhow. They are quite feisty, aren't they? They know where their position is best, that's where they go. I like that. Improved pillaging. We need improved maneuverability, I'm sorry. That's what we need. We've killed a Frederick. On the battlefield. Let's check the after battle report. We haven't looked at these in a while. So our knights have killed 71 people. They it, it seems they have been toned down a little bit. They're no longer one-man armies. But it's still quite impressive. I wonder how historically accurate it is. Probably quite. Go do battle onto them again. They don't seem to get away because of our improved maneuverability. Movement speed. Enemy defensive advantage. Minus 25%. Are you joking? I mean, those sound really high. I don't actually know if they are as high as I figure they are. For every birth, it gets a little bit easier, yet I never cease to be amazed by the intensity of the experience and my own strength. Once more, I have brought forth new life to this earth in the shape of a perfect little sun. Let's give him a good French name, Angelbert. And let's check him out. Let's Ah, Julich. Would you look at that? A lady who hates our guts. Excellent. 
Honestly, I like that this is still true for Crusader Kings 3 as much as it was for Crusader Kings 2. At some size, internal alliances are much more important than external ones. Our boy is sickly. Do we have a court physician? We do. That's good. We have also a whole bunch of prisoners which we can probably ransom. Well, not all of them. 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay. Well, let's just... I mean, it's still it's still money. I'm not scoffing at that. Saria, shall you be? There we go. Lazy? Fine. Let us usurp this duchy of Schwabia. Thank you very much. That's mine now. And our heir is first in line of succession, you know. Uh, let's grant them a bit. Get this. And this. This we give to someone. This guy and you get the Duchy of Schwabia. There you go. All yours. Make the best of it, boy. All right. So we have identified Frankia to be kind of weak right now. Very weak indeed. Wow, they are incredibly vulnerable. Let's see what claims can we press here. Let's go from top to bottom. A chiefdom. 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 Can't go on a holy war for a kingdom. We will have to settle for a duchy. Let's see what will be the greatest size increase. I especially want to go south. Really? Brittany. Oh yeah, that would be nice. I think Brittany is, is currently my top pick here. Let's let's get ourselves Brittany. And what we shall do is the following. We shall Are we gonna add a new one? I wonder how many we can have. So first <laughs> okay, well, th there's the answer. We can have 10. So we take this rally point here. Move it over here. We raise all here. Except this will be our A team. And most of our knights moving straight onto this. And. That didn't work. All 
right, fine. A new commander, huh? Very good. You shall serve us well. Let's check our knights. You will be forced to be a knight. You don't just allow it. How much do you cost? Ten. Be a knight. You. Ten. Be another knight. I'd rather have weird guys die rather than the good guys. Huh. Who am I to decide such things? Well, I am the Empress. So my plan was, I'll get all the good troops in the north. But that didn't really work. My husband has an affair. Well, that is just interesting. Oh. Love will keep you warm in the dungeons. Except we didn't imprison our husband. We imprisoned her. <laughs> Gathering a big army takes time, as you can imagine. But I hope to just kind of catch her, capture him at home. We'll try that first. Where are you? Vassal, son, and ward. Will you be callous? Arrogant or compassionate? What does arrogant do? <laughs> and compassionate is a virtue. Let's make him callous. And again, we are overwhelmed by stress. can be a strange recluse for 10 years. Everyone kind of finds weird. Can go for profugate, monthly income minus 10%. Trying to buy happiness now. We'll just get more stressed. There's nothing we can do. We could seclude ourselves. Let's hold the feast. We lose some stress there. I like that we can party during war now. Discussion of strategy, giving us some marshal. Oh, Frankia is in a big revolt as well, it seems. And we did exactly what I hoped we would. We captured him. Well, would you look at that. We have finally taken a bit, a bite out of our southern enemy. Would you just look at it. Titles can be created. The Kingdom of Brittany and the Duchy of Brittany. And we will create both. For the realm. And I think we still have some sons here. Do we not? Daughter, daughter, son. Duchy of Brittany. So he gets this anyway. Get Nantes. You get all these. Because there are plenty of vassals there anyway. And you get the Duchy of Brittany. Which is a huge big duchy. Which you now own, my dear son. Make the best of it. Was well, good evening. We've lost some stress, I believe, but I think we need to do more against stress. 
So let's seclude ourselves. We lose some stress. We lose some prestige too, but it's fine. And I am truly at peace. Nothing more stress. Let's go call for a hunt as well. Let's do all the things to get rid of stress. Except for take a vow of poverty. <laughs> Alright, we have swayed her to 100%. We want hell, this is secret. Now time for chit chat. I'm getting that stag. People. What do you want? Yeah. I'll join you in this. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, do this again. So we split off the A, 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 A team. All of this is just enough, thank you. Enemy just appears out of thin air. The hunt is ended. And I will go lead our army to victory. We have this high maneuverability right now, so they don't get any advantage really, sadly, for him. Great for us though. I'm happy our uh, vassal is taking advantage of the weakness of Frankie as well. It's very good. Prisoners can be ransomed, let's see. 50 gold. 106 gold. Now. You can have that one. Uh, looks like there is a whole bunch of armies coming. So raise a bit more at the back end of things. Let's see if we can capture him once more. That would be funny. At least to me. Weren't able to capture him again. Wait, are you hostile or an enemy? These are all just hostile armies. So we can't probably expand these. Don't need them. Let's see. Vassals, who hates us? Let's check our factions. Let's sway this man. Our power grows ever more. There is an actual enemy army. Just keep sieging, earn us some money. Finally, Frankia yeah, gets what they deserve. I wonder what they will look like once all this is said and done here. Their own rebellion, everyone attacking them from outside. It's just about this piece here, sadly, but, you know, my guys are trying. Mercenary higher cost. I like that. Minus 30%, that's, that's, a, that's a good amount, man. If anything is off 30%, I think there's probably something wrong with it. So, <laughs> let's hope it doesn't affect the quality of them. I wish you got more control over what you raise at these flags, because I see that you get this flag info. Oh no. Our little Duke of Brittany has died. So who holds that duchy now? Oleto.
Why do you hold that? Oh, because you're my husband. Well, okay. I didn't know you were a duke. I thought you were a count. When did you become a duke? Not that I mind, but how? I wouldn't want to be in Frankia's shoes. Our husband was imprisoned and is now free. Okay. 25. Wait, there wasn't... 17, 50, 71, 25. 50. Ah, we'll take the 17, it's fine. Realm loses land when a vassal dies. Thuringen. guy needs to die then. That's just how it is. Support my scheme please. Thank you. And our Marshal. Oh yeah, okay. Not great. He's not terrible. And you can do what? You're very good with court intrigue. Chivalry. You're not very good with that. Assist gives just everything a little bit. I'd rather push you toward court intrigue, offset our weakest trait, or one of our weaker traits. With one of his better traits. I'm just sending my troops home because he is pretty much winning this. There we go. Now we can disband. And we can turn... Truce would break. And we can turn our eyes over to here again. Dear Bavaria. How dare you? This duchy is clearly mine. And we will press our claim. With the help of the A-team. Wait, was there a 40 knight? There's a guy who is 40. Of prowess. Well, that's insane. Mm, much. And we will personally lead because we are that time of amazing. How many troops does he really have? 5,000. Okay. So our A team will be fine dealing with this war. We should upgrade at home. Paris. Upgrade to level 3. Ah, the enemy seeks battle. Let us see how they fare. <clears throat> so they are fodder. So they don't have this river being an issue. Deals 10% damage due to being countered. Why is this red? Because they're countered by two? I don't know if... Two pike regiments actually help. We have discovered a fascination with men at arms, so we can have more. Yes. 
Castle Baileys, Levy Reinforcement Raids. What else do we have? Let's go for Domain Taxes again. Castle Baileys is influenced anyway. You know what that means. More men at arms, and you know what that means. <laughs> Should probably have crossbowmen. But I also want more trebuchets. Let's get more trebuchets. Oh, everything goes up to a size of 12 now. That's insane. So the way we can prevent inheritance outside the realm is by just killing the heir that has weird outside realm inheritance stuff. And by now speed 3 feels normal and good again. We are financially stable. We can wage war with highly proficient armies. Yeah, let's pay a bit. Local bird trainer. And it has reached him. Are, are we a forder? No. But we're absolutely destroying them. And with absolutely, I mean uh, apparently absolutely. Like there are no Bavarian troops left. No. French. Go away with your culture. Unexpected visit. Since my vassal, Duchess Bertrude, has arrived at court, as per my generous invitation, she has barely left her chambers. I demand an explanation when I push the door open. Duchess Bertrude is seated by her desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, she jumps out of her skin. She quickly stuffs a roll of parchment down in her pocket and turns away. We will return later. All right. Well, well, well. How delightfully wicked. According to the blackmail letter, Bertrude has an intimate relations with Count Altpert. So we now know that. Isn't that fantastic? By the way, how do you know which is the capital of these things? You just read the name. And usually, uh, if there is, let's say, this is uh, Hohenlohe. So you would look for something called Hohenlohe. Sadly, there is no such thing, so we'll just have to guess or click. But in, Bum uh, in Bumberg, for example, you can see Barony of Bumberg. Makes sense. Ooh, a new Cadet branch. Good stuff. Look at this. Fantastic. Clonk. And thus we gain this, and of course we will usurp this duchy. Thank you, kind sir. 35 out of 100. 5, 20. I'll just ransom everyone, I don't care. Okay, I don't think I can prevent this, so we'll have to switch our inheritance stuff. Is the heir to the kingdom of East Francia? We would actually lose a kingdom title once.
Duchy of East Franconia shall be yours. And yeah, we'll increase crown authority. Law is passed. No one inherits outside the realm anymore. Except for these people, apparently. More ransoms. Twelve out of hundred. No, no, we'll, we'll wait for that here. All right, so there's a whole little mess of things there that we could potentially take. Frankia is pushed into the absolute dust and dirt. Clan of Aquitaine is basically fighting them. Can't declare war against them. I like that. I used to take advantage of fighting rebellions, but I prefer that you can't actually do that anymore. I do prefer it. Do we declare just a bunch of little wars here? And push our way further east? Oh, we haven't had a war with Romanga in a while. Have we now? Seize the Duchy of Tuscany. Nah. We'll uh, end it for today with this. And we'll see how we fare and get on next time. I do thank you again for watching if you are actually doing it. If not, then you don't hear my thanks. If you get to this point and you hear the thanks, well, damn. That's fantastic. I'm still impressed that there's actually people who enjoy watching this stuff. And I would call you out, but again, privacy reasons. Uh, I'm not going to name names. Is our thing here done? No, it's still upgrading in Paris. Can we upgrade these? No. Are there more castles that we could upgrade to level 2? Yeah, several. Still a lot of money to be had here through upgrades and stuff and I don't really put money and effort into it. So we could, for a moment, halt our expansion and just kind of turn inward again. Making sure that our stuff gets upgraded. What is the Kingdom of East Francia? All this. That's a bit. That's quite a bit. That is quite a bit. I would like to be able to usurp Ramanga. Well, we'll leave all that for next time. Thank you very much for watching. See you around. Bye bye.